Welcome back, everybody. Dread 608 plays. Playing Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader here. Uh, we got done with the prison planet. I think we got everything we needed here. I hope we did. Hope I didn't miss something. Uh, if I did, leave me notes in the comments. I'll come back and try and find whatever I'm supposed to have found. Uh, one thing I can do is I can level up. So I was going to do that right away. Uh, so. I level up. I choose a talent. I choose a characteristic. So characteristic. See, my willpower is 40. My fellowship is 30. Toughness. Everything's even except my weapon skill. I think I want to have myself all in even numbers. My weapon skill... The willpower. <sighs> I think I'm just going to go to even numbers here. I can't do anything with my perception. Toughness. I really need to get all this stuff up. I can only go up by fives. Right, I think I'm just going to make myself a nice even 40 like Abelard. Abelard. If I do this one. Oh, man, I don't know what to do. I want perception to go up. Uh, I think I'm going to go with weapon skill and just make myself even. I don't know. So I'm going to do there. And... Commanding voice. Already taken. Steel resolve. My resolve was increased by three. Blood of martyrs. Focus. Inspire courage. Four temporary wounds. Personal oversight. Fellowship bonus divided by two, so it doesn't give him anything. Lasting impression, heroism. Move, move, move. Heavy weapon proficiency. Strength's got to get up. 
way higher. Oh, I could train abilities too. Oh, I don't know. Lore Imperium. It's already at 50. Nice skill, Medicaid. Don't I need to get something called, like, Fires of the Forge. So I took that the last time. Execution. For the Emperor. 20 plus 2 times fellowship bonus. Killing the marked enemy. Give him even more. Ah, uh, Pinnacle of Weaponry. Could take my tech use up to like really high. Base skill persuasion. So where do you get base skill? Okay. Base skill Medicaid. So those are your basic skills. Oh, it's just based on your strength. Plasma gun and plasma pistol. Maybe I should take plasma weapons? <laughs> or I can get more wounds. That's not bad. Tend to dodge. Oh. Two extra movement points. Combat master. Chain weapon.
so I could get my art, I get my stuff off quicker by doing this. Hmm. Targets an ally with an action. Resolves are increased by one. Or temporary wounds. Perception and ballistic skill equal to three. Yep. My resolve will increase by three. I already have this feature. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> increase my resolve by three. Two times my wall said get an extra eight on there. Resistances. I really don't know what to take with these things. Some really interesting ones. But I'm thinking I'm going to go... with uh, the plasma. I don't have anybody that can use plasma guns right now. I'm going to go with plasma weapon proficiency. And then, uh, can't take up my perception, start working my fellowship up, or my willpower. This helps me against psychic powers. Start working on my thing, or do I want to just have my weapon skill be at 40? I think I'll start working on my willpower in the next level. Let's just do that. Okay, that's me. Albard. The same thing. An ability, choose a skill. It's plus 10 on these things. Took his athletics up. The 30 now, I'm going to take his Medicaid out. They want me to take up his athletics, though. Okay. Uh, so these are the things that he can do. Sworn enemy. Plus 10. Plus 2 times his toughness bonus. Which is a 5. So 10, 20% armor. And 2 plus strength bonus. Which is 4. 8 damage. Target attacks the warrior during this round. The warrior gains one action point once per round. Sworn enemy. Means plus five times strength bonus percentage armor bonus. Plus two times strength bonus damage. And ignores three times weapon skill bonus of the target's parry. So eyes an attack enhanced by this one will attack the warrior in return, including creatures with ranged weapons. Okay. Do I have a uh, breakthrough? 
agility bonus I by two. If you use the same round as a charge. Pushes the enemy away. I kind of like this sworn enemy. I think we'll go with sworn enemy there. And over here... Carouse, he's already the head of us all in Carouse. He's head of us in Athletics. This would bring him up to my Coercion. This would give me a second really good person in Demolition. Or I could take his Medicaid up so he'd be a little better. Takes a lot of wounds. Uh, I think I need to have somebody that can jump around, so we'll go with athletics. All right, that's what we're going to do with him. Again, leave me notes in the comments about all the things I'm doing wrong here, guys. Uh, just got a characteristic and a talent. Uh, fresh target. These are from... Now these are her operative things. Toughness and willpower by three times intelligence bonus. Intelligence bonus isn't worth anything. Height of excellent. Plus one damage and minus, plus two armor penetration until the end of combat. That's interesting. Passive learning. In the first turn of combat, the operative randomly distributes the same number of exploits as when uniting online enemies. The 10 cell radius around the operative at the start of each of the operative subsequent turns, they distribute half as many exploits, half the base amount, among all enemies in a two cell radius around the operative. Take less damage. Oh, that's nice. Okay, I need to look at her psychic things that she could possibly take too. Throwing grenades are your attack things. Okay. Damage to psychic power targets that are six cells or further from the psychic. Targets take more damage. So long range stuff would do a lot more damage.
So she could do up close psychic attacks with this. Minus four plus four times the psi rating penalty. So that would be eight. I don't know, should I go with something psychic? Like subtle manipulation? Or do I go down the operative path? Uh, I'd give her more wounds, which I might need. Enemies gain no melee or superiority bonuses. I don't know what that means. Joint defense. Formed hit, which I can't do. I need precise attack. I don't have listed here. It's an exposure I put up. Tide of excellence. Does ten plus perception bonus. More damage to that enemy. I feel like I should be taking more stuff that has to do with her psychic abilities. Uh, toughness and willpower by three times or ten times. Perception is plus five, so it'd be plus fifteen percent more damage as percent. That's not actual points. Um, that's not bad either. Stack up on things. Um, I don't know. Doing damaging stuff that's watch it while they're right on top of her. I'm going to take that. I don't know. So that's what happened to me this last time. The guy was right on top of me. This way I could do something to him and he couldn't take an attack of opportunity. That's what we'll take. Now she's going to do this. Uh, her willpower. Everything's an even number, so what do I want to build up? Willpower and perception? Her intelligence really needs to start moving up, doesn't it? Some of her abilities depend on intelligence. Perception is already up to 50. I guess I'll start working on her intelligence. Okay. And she's done. And Argenta, my silly girl. Choose an ability, choose a characteristic. So characteristic. Uh, willpower could go up to 40, but agility... 
go up to 55. Ballistic skill. Uh, I'm making her into a shooter, so let's just keep going up ballistic skill. And then she's got... Soldier gives... You want to open fire. The soldier and their allies will automatically dodge the soldier's next attack. Ooh, I like that. With her doing her silliness. What's dash do? Soldier immediately dashes in the selected direction. All their movement points. Does not provoke attacks of opportunity. Allows the soldier to dash through allies and enemies, but not through obstacles. Oh, both of those are good. Movement within a three cell radius. Okay, we're going to do controlled shot. So I can tell everybody, I'm going to start shooting everybody duck. Right? So she can do her, her automatic runarounds. Okay, there we are. For better or worse, that's what I chose to do. And we have like 450 points to go. So we're done. And that's like 26 minutes. So what we're going to do is we're going to go... Before we do any more void mess, in the journal, uh, the chosen ones, I didn't even wonder scale, so I did that, did hers. Um, That's done. Defective servitors. I have to go. Why is it so far I have to go talk to this guy. Uh, no. No. How do we get back on this? How do we get out of here? Back to the bridge. So I have to go talk to the high factorium about my servitors. And then we'll put in a cut. And decide what we're going to do next time. So we lowered ourselves up. Sorry it took so long. I really don't know what I'm doing. Come on, get me to the high factorum. Factorum or whatever the frick his name is. Factotum. There we are. Oh no, again? By the zone, this cogitator will drive me crazy one day. Alright. Go to the map. Where is he? I fact him is over there. I fact him is over here. I fact him. Factotum. I affected him, Dennis Dan Rock. Corpulent man, lavish clothes, bows before you, not without difficulty. Servo skull whirls over his shoulder while the fingers of his augmented hand drum against the sheaf of papers he is holding. He guards you with a ton of interest through the lens of his magnifying implant. Greetings, your lordship. Generous doctor at your service. Magni, what is it you do on my ship? How did you come to serve? It's like working for the Doria. I wish you know, thank you to fellow crew members. I want to know more about the people who buy our plunder. I'm going to go straight to the what's wrong with the servitors. You see, Lars, if the ship servitors have been malfunctioning of late, they violate protocols, interrupt their tasks, observe crew members for long periods of time, and move erratically with no meaning or purpose. Master Iron nervously pulls on his luxurious, luxurious frock coat as if it were uncomfortably tight. Had it been a routine technical fault, I would have decided the fate of these servitors myself, but I deem it necessary to notify you. I do not wish to hide such irregularities from the Lord Captain. If you wish to observe the servitors unusual behavior before you decide their fate, this can be arranged. The majority of the defective units have been delivered to one of the storage compartments pending your decision. Uh, let's go look at them. As you wish. Okay, book book event. When his lordship arrived at the scene, he found the servitors in the same position that they assumed after they had been corralled into the bay. All standing in a long spiraling line and facing the center of their strange formation. The moment the Lords crossed the threshold of the bay gate, their bodies jerked into motion all as one as if obeying a command. Servitors turned to face the Lord Captain. The Technomats tasked with overseeing the defective units even reached for their weapons. 
and the servitors went still just as abruptly, staring at his lordship with vacant eyes. All present held their da breath, disturbed by this sight. We waited for the lord captain to speak. Took several steps towards the versator, demanded a report on the defective unit status from the technomats. Beautissimal and its components investigated, turned to me to announce his decision. Uh, frick, I don't know. Took several steps towards the reservators. Meeting the servers, each and every one of them stepped toward Lord Captain in perfect unison. They mimicked his movements with frightening precision. Trader halted in place, and after a moment's thought, he waved his hand, and the servitors just as synchronously repeated that gesture as well. Lord Captain turned quizzically to the technomats, so did the servitors, as if mocking him. Lord did, be it an incline of the head, a wave of the hand, or a step to the side, the defective units repeated it without moments delay or hesitation. The grotesque marinats controlled by an unseen puppeteer. We observed this mime unfold in distressed bafflement for nearly a minute until the servitors finally came to a stop. Not sensing any threat from them, Rogue Trader approached with confidence. The Lord Captain examined the servitors. By factorium, it was I who had prompted the entire inspection, and thus it was my duty to follow the Lord Captain. As we stepped closer, we noticed a fascinating irregularity. The servitors' pupils, normally still, were shaking wildly. Their bulging veins were pulsating under their copper collars, inscribed with their past offense offenses. It was as if these mindless half-machines were locked in a perpetual state of extreme tension. Visibly shaken, Technomac behind us propo proposed that the human souls had awakened within the servitors' bodies after a long slumber deep within their lobotomized brains, firmly bereft of intelligence, they had attained awareness, feeling, and understanding. After a pause, the technomech added that the servitors used to function properly and that no one had been able to explain the change in their behavior. His gaze still trained on the motionless but animate half-machines and half-people, the Lord Captain. A radical suddenly drew an iridescent blade, one I had seen before, and as if following some unheard command, plunged it into the nearest servitor. A radical! Okay, I don't want to go down heretical. Step away from the servitors. Well, give me a report. A detail report could have been summarized in a single key point. Despite the servitors' abnormal behavior, they were still quite capable of carrying out tasks. Therefore, the circumstances did not call for their termination. Okay, I want one of them taken apart. Maybe to act one of the large captains. The servitors' mechanical parts separated with clicks, snaps, and hisses. The associates. Searchers between its wrinkled pale flesh and its augments were laid disgustingly bare. Watched the technomex do their work, and we could see every centimeter of the servitors' stiff muscles abound, bounding with valves and cavities pierced by countless cords and tubes. Analysis complete, the Technomats concurred. The unit was in working order, and nothing in the dissected body that lay before us could provide any insight into the reason behind the effects. Should make a note of one more thing. At the moment, all of us present discovered that not just the eyes, but the hands and the heads, some of the servitors were now shaking too. It was as if mechanized servants were now were overcome with some primordial terror. Okay, well, I guess I have to make an announce a decision. It was as common as it rushed me out of the nightmare, stupid as it tensed me, observing the scene unfolding before me. The Lord Captain gave the order. Dispose of the servitors so that their human souls may be released from torment. Captain and his commands was executed post haste. All defective units were incinerated in furnaces, and the remains were expelled into the void. The crew was provided with replacement servitors and soon forgot all about the destroyed units' peculiarities. Yet this incident haunts my memories to this day. With the fate of the defective servitors decided, nothing could not distract the Lord Captain from his mission. Okay. Hi. Right. Where am I on the icon class list here? I need to get to 45. I need 22 more. It's going to be a long time to get those things, isn't it? And she's way the heck up here. She's way the heck here. He's already up here. Okay. 
Alright, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do next. But we're going to put a cut in here. Did all that. Uh, we'll put myself back here. We'll probably have to go investigate some more stuff, it looks like. Alright, if you like what you see, hit the thumbs up button. If you really like to see, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the notify bell. We notified upload videos under scheduled streams. I'm Dren608. Until we meet again, stay safe and bye-bye.